my name is Bernice. Welcome to my channel. For those of you that are new, go ahead and press that subscribe button down at the bottom. I'd love to have you. For those of you that are already subscribed, today's video I bring you a new organizational video. Today's video is my pantry organization and the different systems that I've incorporated in my pantry. This system definitely is working for us. We've been living in this system for at least a couple of weeks now, so um, it's been really good. It's uh, easy to find everything. But this system is not going to necessarily work for everyone. So go ahead and uh, hope, watch my video and hopefully this inspires you to organize your pantry and maybe a new system that will work for you. With the new year fast approaching, this is a great time to take care of those uh, organization uh, systems in your cabinets or anywhere that you can incorporate them in your home. Thank you so much once again for watching and let's go ahead and take a look at what I've done. Okay guys, so this is my very messy pantry. As you can see, everything is just thrown in. It's really hard to find things. Um, and then also, um, there's a lot of things that I can't, um, I can't even see, so I don't know I have, so I end up buying double of. Um, so it's really important to have a very organized pantry or something that'll work for you. Okay guys, and then what you want to do is you want to give uh, the cabinet a good wipe down all the way down, all the way through um, before we start uh, putting our shelf liner um, in the pantry. And um, I went ahead and just took everything out and everything is just sitting um, right on the counter um, in the kitchen, just waiting to be uh, boxed or unboxed I should say. Um, and organized in our uh, nice clean cabinet. And then I don't know if any of you guys can see, but my pantry is very weirdly shaped. It's uh, pretty deep on one side, and then it's almost like a triangular shape on the other side on your right. So it's pretty hard to, um, you know, get shelves or things like that installed. So let me show you how I did that. And then once you have your shelf liner in place, um, then you want to start putting all your containers in. I got this shelf liner at um, the Dollar Tree and I just selected the white one um, just to go more neutral. But you just want to line all your cabinets up. And as you can see my top, my cabinets on the right um, side of the cabinet is more of like a triangle. Um, so I had to cut the, uh, the shelf liner in a triangle to be able to fit that area. All right guys, and then this is my finished pantry organization. A lot of this stuff I got from Aldi's. Um, I bought some containers at Costco, Dollar Tree, and ordered some of the little metal uh, organizers from Amazon. So I'll go ahead and go over a little bit of my the products that I have here for you. Okay, for the top shelf here, um, I've just uh, pretty much organized everything in uh, smaller containers. And uh, one of the things that make makes it easy for you to organize your pantry is always labeling. Um, I got these labels from Target, um, but then some of the labels I also got from Michaels. And I just pretty much labeled everything. Uh, my oatmeal back there, I just left in its container. Um, it's almost empty, so I felt I didn't have a need to put it in a container yet. I will be going grocery shopping and I'll be able to uh, put it in a container. And these shelves are really great. I got at Amazon. Um, you know, they have the, the little pull out shelf, which, you know, pulls out, and then you can pretty much see what you have in there um, and then you know grab what it whatever it is that you need the top little shelf here um, I just put some saran wrap parchment paper that that type of stuff uh, just you know easy to to see uh, and uh, pretty accessible if you need some extra and then here for my second shelf I got this really great um, can organizer uh, also from Amazon and I'll leave a lot of the links of the products uh, down, down in the description box or as much as I can find and the, these really great cereal containers I got at Costco 
Um, you know, they're really great. You just pretty much pop this and it just pops open. So they're really great and they're airtight containers. So, um, you know, once again, keeps your, your cereal uh, fresh in there. And then these little smaller containers um, I got at Aldi's. So they are also airtight containers. They have, you know, pretty much like the little snap snap on lids. Um, I also invested in some OXO containers. Some a lot of the bigger containers, like the the flower container back here, um, that is an OXO product. You know, very easy. It just pops open. So I did um, invest in some of the OXO products. So if you guys um, can't find these containers at Aldi. The OXO pro uh, containers are also really, really nice. Uh, a little bit more expensive, but they're a great investment to keep your food uh, fresher longer. And then for my next row, once again, a lot of the like the snack products, teas, um, you know, just stuff that. Um, we can also access uh, pretty easily fruit, snacks, things like that, that my daughter can access if she needs to. Okay, and then a lot of these like little uh, containers here, I just pretty much have it labeled with a dry erase marker. And these are from uh, the Dollar Tree and I pretty much have, you know, a few snacks in there, just different things that um, are already in containers up here, you know, like crackers and, you know, the little goldfish and things like that. But these are just uh, maybe a few extra um, items that I just had a little bit extra of. And then once again, some more extras down here um, and refills for the products that I already have in containers. Once again, another basket um, that you can, you know, pretty much pull the drawer out and it pulls it pulls it all out. A little heavy right now just because I have a few jars in there. Some other extra OXO containers here. Some napkins that I have back there. Right back there some napkins. And then just some other bottles here, um, you know, cooking oils, olive oil, things like that. But I also found this really nice uh, tray uh, or basket with the pull-out drawers um, at Aldi's. And I liked it because they're, you know, really easy to, to pull out. And I just have some extra disposable cups here and then a little... Uh, tray that I got at Dollar Tree where I can just put my my clips for a lot of the products that are you know that are open and you just seal them back up and then some snacks down here for my daughter once again that she can just pull out and take for lunch It was so much fun doing this project. It's, uh, you know, really nice to see everything has a place now with labels and everything is easy to get to. And it just looks so much more organized. We're going to go ahead and try out this method and I'll let you know how it goes. Hopefully we can keep everything in its place. And then back here I also stored um these are from the dollar tree back here but i just stored some shoebox containers that have the lids and i just have a few of like the extra um storage bags and uh, picnic paper products that you know for um paper plates napkins forks knives spoons things like that and um, that i don't really use quite a lot i do have a drawer where i, ha I keep more um ziploc bags and things like that so those are going to be pretty much my extras and I just put a smaller container here of some nice delicious brownies. So I hope you guys like my video. For those of you that are new, please press that subscribe button and I hope this uh, video inspires uh, some of you to reorganize your pantries. I had a lot of fun with this project. I've been wanting to uh, take care of my pantry for quite a while, so I think I've 
got a system going here which hopefully will work for me. Thank you guys so much once again for watching and don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like videos like this. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.